So I'm uh, at a campsite um, by the river with extended family. Uh, I don't really recognize anyone who's who I'm there with, but I know it's you know like it must be cousins or people that I haven't really uh, met very well. But we're all camping, and you know it's kind of going leisurely. I look up in the sky, and there's some there's uh, you know some some skydivers that I'm seeing up there. And then all of a sudden, there's like a malfunction in their parachute, and they just start falling to the ground. And then I hear this thud. And I get really like upset, like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And someone looks to me, and they're like, oh, don't worry, no one dies in dreams. I'm like, oh, OK. And then, um, and then I don't know if I like woke up, or if it's another scene, or what sort of happened, but now I'm in like a. Uh, in a room with all of these people who I'm like, oh, these seem like, you know, more my type of people. Like, it's like a, I, you know, before these were like family members and I felt like maybe I couldn't relate to them. These people I felt like, oh, maybe I could relate to these people. Um, uh, but these are definitely not, not family. Uh, they're maybe like intellectual people or something. Um, but for some reason I start to feel very uncomfortable or like out of place and so I like slip out the back without talking to anyone just kind of like make a escape um, and then I find myself like oh I really ought to get back to my family you know I want to bring something back so I like I find myself walking with like a, a like a six-pack of beer I'm like oh this will be fine you know I'll bring some some beer back to, to the campsite and we'll all go hang out and you know it'll be cool but then as I'm like walking back, I just completely drop it. And I'm like, no, I'm not interested in going back to hang out with my family. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off on my own. And then I, see, I come up to like some kids at this campsite. And they're, like, um, they're playing this awesome card game. And I have no idea what it is, but it's amazing. It's the coolest game that I've ever seen. And they're incredibly enthralled in it. And they're, it's like super flashy with all these, you know, like, um, it, yeah, it's like every every kid's card game ever combined into one. Like it was like a, I, I remember like this like Uno or like this green trading card or something. But and I'm like, oh, I want to play with these people. I want you know, these are people I'd like to hang out with these these kids. But then but then I see their mother who's looking at me like, don't hang out with my kids. You know, they're like, she's like, no, I'm not I'm not gonna. I don't think that's all right for you to be hanging out with these kids. I'm like you're right. I've got this beer here, here anyhow. This isn't appropriate. And so I, and so I, you know, I keep walking back, and I'm still not interested in going back to my family. And I see some backpack, you know, just lying somewhere, and I'm like, oh, maybe I can steal that backpack. But then I say, no, 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 that's not good to steal backpacks. And I just keep walking. And then finally, this like really flashy Corvette comes up, and um, and I'm I kind of don't want to be seen. You know, this car looks awesome, and it's like a car I've always wished I could have. But um, I, I don't want to, like, be seen by the driver, and I'm just kind of hiding. And then in that hiding state is when I wake up. So, yeah, just like uh, I remember, like, waking up and feeling very, like, um, like, full of anxiety. Like, I was, like, this, like, I felt ashamed at myself in, in times, and I was just kind of, like, yeah, I, I just felt like, oh, I'm kind of a bad person is what I felt like when I woke up from this. See, you can, uh, <clears throat> when you're dealing with dreams, it's a good idea to see if you can break it into parts, right? So look at your dream again, and where did you cut it off as one part? Huh? I would say the first scene before I got to the party seems like one thing. Mm -hmm. By the river? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah, when I was with my family. Okay. Right? And then with the kids is probably another.
And then maybe that that last Corvette thing was something else? No, that's true. Uh, is it possible that there's a separation between the intellectual group and the family group? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, there's a desire to hang out with a certain group, <coughs> the same group, or a different group? Oh, I'm sorry, what did you ask that again? No. Your mother remarks that that's not an appropriate group for you to hang on with. Is this group that you saw, the classy group, were they also the intellectuals or another group? Oh, it was another group. They were therefore, therefore, right, we can make that, right? So we have one, two, uh, three, right? And uh, the Corvette, right? Yeah. Looks like four. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, <coughs> It looks like that um, it's not going very well in the first one. No. Right? What is that like for you? What, what, is, what's, what is that experience like? Um, at first it was like I felt kind of alienated from my family, like I wasn't part of my family. You know, I didn't feel like I was enjoying doing what, what everyone else was doing. But then with this scene with the skydivers falling, I felt like, Horrified. Like I was like, uh, I, was, yeah, I felt like, like I saw some something or you know someone died. It was, it was like, uh, and I was, I was shocked that no one else was reacting. Like I, I, I was freaking out about this, and everyone I was with was like, no, you know that sort of stuff just happens, and they're okay anyhow. Yeah, in that respect, uh, what would you say about your seeing at that moment compared with other people? Uh, yeah, I guess I felt like I was seeing something that they weren't seeing. Yeah. 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 So you could give yourself a grade for that kind of seeing. Sure, yes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right? Right? Like I was more aware. Yeah, okay, so therefore this is more aware, right, and different from others, right, 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 yeah. right, right. Uh, to the same question, uh, when you were with that, saw those intellectuals, <clears throat> um, I would remember that state of mind, it was not, you were a kind of out of space. Like, yeah, so, like disinterested, I was Yeah, like what's that? that, same question, what is that like? Um, I felt like a lot of people were talking but not saying anything, like, um, like there was nothing to see or like um, like they were all engaged in something that yeah, not interesting to me or. So even though they're intellectuals, as far as you're concerned, they're not talking about anything that's important to you. What did that do to you? Well, it made me want to leave. Yeah, I was like. Uh, get out. I was like, get out. Yeah. Right? It was like not get out person. of here. Yeah. Right. So you escaped. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. The, again, that's a certain kind of seeing in your dream, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, right? this, yeah. The subject of your dream is seeing. Yeah, okay, Now, yeah. compare these two kinds of seeing. Okay. Is it similar? Is one more interesting than the other? Or? I think uh, one was more like observational and one was more interpretive. All right. Like I was maybe interpreting what they were talking about and saying that it didn't have much value. Yeah, but it had an effect on you. And therefore you're seeing that they're saying nothing, there's nothing to see in what they are saying. You're seeing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. At that moment, what did that do to you? You said, hey, get out of here. Escape, it's yeah. not my world. Well, I, I also felt bad about that because I, I wanted to tell someone that I was leaving. I wanted to like engage, and I remember like slipping out the back as if it was like, like I, I didn't want to be seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
that that repeats itself. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, see, it's the result of sin. I want to get out of here, right? I would like to engage in others, but they have nothing to say. Right? Yeah. So that equally, see, that's a sin. Watch in the next class. All right. Okay. The group. What does your mother say? It's not appropriate. What did that yeah. do to you? Oh, uh, it kind of like dropped me down. Yeah, because I was like, I felt like these people were having, like, enjoying themselves and doing something that was like worth doing, even though it was. That, I mean, they were just playing some kid's card game, but everyone was. Everyone looked radiant. It was like they were they were laughing and smiling, and, and it looked like the sort of place I wanted to be. But and what were they doing? Playing cards? Yeah. Yeah. Look her. I'm good at drawing people playing cards. <laughs> right. Say, how's your scene? You're seeing, yeah. even though they're enjoying themselves, and they like what they're doing, and they're smiling. Finish it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was not appropriate for. I mean, it wasn't the right thing for me to be doing at that yeah, time. Yeah. That was, what effect did your mother's comment have on you then? Uh, it's not your mother. Well, it was. I think it was their mother, but. Okay, their yeah, mother. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um. What effect? Well, I mean, it made me leave there as well. Sure, sure, sure. So you saw in what she was saying, finish it. Well, that, that she was correct in what she was saying. Ah, again, she is doing some seeing and you are doing some seeing. Well, how did she look at that moment to you? Uh... I'll help you. She looked earnest and like worth respecting. Like she looked like a uh, Respect. re respectable. Like um, like had had a view that was worth me abiding by. Like yeah. But okay. Would you say she looked pretty foolish? No. 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 Oh, let no. me try again. Um, did she appear like a dumb broad? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. you tell me what. How did she look? Yeah, I mean, it looked like she was protecting her family and doing what was wise and what was like. Um, now she's protecting you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So, um, I was interested in knowing: Have you seen other people that were in a similar state of mind as she was when she said, "It's not appropriate for you to be in that group." Sure. Sure. Yeah, you, you got yeah. a couple of them. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. So, what role is she playing? Um, well, I mean, I think of I think of my mother. I mean, yeah, like telling me when I was hanging out with you know delinquents and getting into bad mm -hmm. behavior. What role is she playing? Um, she was. She she knew the right thing to do. That it was yeah. like um, oh. so. It's like a like some sort of guide or okay. a like, guide. Like um, right. got other names for that kind of person. I'll uh, use the guide. Yeah, like I mean, yeah. I I have words that like I think, but it's not what I, you know, like. I, I could say someone who is like a guide is like shepherding or like taking care of their okay. flock and all that's, this stuff. That's like better. Shepherding is good too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the effect it had on you? Do it again. Uh, made me change my course of action and made me yeah. reevaluate. So this is again a, a more profound seeing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So look here, it's going on. Could it happen here with a Corvette? <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay, so so I was like um, thinking of stealing. 
right? I mean, that was kind of what was going on there. Oh yeah, the backpack. Yeah, I was I was in this mode where I was like, I could take this as mine. Yeah. And and with the Corvette, I remember having the same sort of thought of like, I could take this and make it mine mm -hmm. because you know the the owners, mm -hmm. you know, they're not here and mm -hmm. it's just sitting here and it, and it could be mine. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember like. I didn't want to be seen by this Corvette driver specifically because I wanted to reserve that. Like, oh, I can do something bad in my back pocket. Yeah. But I do remember thinking, like, yeah, that's not what I should be doing, that it's not right. Like, right. I, I move on because right. it's not the... What's that like? Uh, At that moment in the dream, it's not right. Come on, what's that like when you saw that? Uh, I mean, I woke up. <laughs> Yeah, but what was it like? At the <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like it was like um, seeing what was important to myself, or mm -hmm. or like coming to see like, oh, well, you don't want to, you know, why that's bad, you know, you've been in this place, so mm -hmm. don't perpetuate this bad ah, thing, like, ah. don't make something. So that continued the seeing that went before, it, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. In other words, it looks like you're applying. Yeah, yeah. From that mother, right? You're applying it now to your life. Yeah. No, no. Is that interesting? It's a study in sin. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. So I was filled with so much anxiety from it, though. I was like. Uh, which one of these would be the highest anxiety? Uh, maybe the first or second, the second maybe. Uh, the second I felt the most alienated. Okay. I felt like... Yeah. I, I'm not familiar with that word. What is that like, being there, alienated? It's like everyone else is at home and I'm not. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like I'm in, like I don't speak the language everyone's speaking, like I can't communicate, like... Like, um, like, I feel like I ought to be able to express myself, and I can't. Yeah, but what does that do to you? What is it like? Uh, yeah, it, it frustrates me. It makes me want to... Yeah, too many letters. <laughs> Try them. Um, I guess maybe even angry. Like, maybe, like, oh. upset. Like, um... That's right, and rather than deal with it, I would rather leave. Yeah, rather than deal with the, with... See, this is a solution to these kinds of situations, right? Mm -hmm. By the way, would it have been better to have dealt with it? Rather than leave without dealing with it? <laughs> um, well... I don't know how you would do it, but... Sure. Would it, would I mean, I felt like it would have been like, a, like challenging all these people. Like, I would have had to say, the conversation you're having is not interesting. What you guys are saying, why this is really okay, no, that's not really... You're, like, what you're saying is wrong. Yeah. And rather than, like, try to tell people that they're wrong, I'd rather go find something that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but it gets you upset, too. Anger, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, and it makes me feel like I'm burning more and more bridges. Like these are people I can't talk to. These are people I can't talk to. Yeah, that's good. Burning bridges. Yeah, that's a certain state of mind, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. 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 Are you familiar with it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I yeah. have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, when did you experience that as a kid? Mm. That same state of mind. Mm. I mean, the first thoughts that come are like high school thoughts. Yeah, like, yeah. what happened that day in high school? Like, um, like... What, what you're getting into high school? Um, I mean, what I'm, what I'm thinking of is, I mean, it just, what's mm -hmm. coming up with the whole themes is like hanging out with bad crowds and being told you can't hang out with these people and... 
and being like, no, I see that they're really good people and you just don't understand. You think just because they're using drugs and this stuff that they're bad people. Mm -hmm. um, and it, and I, I, I was like, um, I mean, yeah, I moved, I, I like moved out of the house at 16 and all this stuff and I had to go live with friends because I was like, I can't be with my family if you can't see me in, in you know, this way of expressing myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, w I left my family because of it. I said, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be with you guys because, you know, I've, I value this other thing that I see more. No, you left because they can't see you. Yeah. Right, right. Well, what's it that like, living where they can't see you? What does that do? To you? I mean, emotionally, yeah. what does that do? Um, it makes me feel like I'm moving further away from myself, like I'm like not... Um... Yeah, that's good, moving away from yourself. Like I'm being told to be something I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. And that has an effect on you. True, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when did you first discover that uh, they can see you? Um, this happened early. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is probably with my... Uh, my parents were divorced, and I was always bouncing back and forth between my parents. Yeah. Um, my sister never uh, liked my father, and I and I was close to my father. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember trying to say, like, hey, you know, he's he's a good person. And I remember she was saying, well, if you think that way, I can't see you. Yeah, it's like I can't. You can't. Um, yeah, that's a good expression. I can't see you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same language. Yeah. So in that respect, what did... Uh, and I chose... I chose my sister. I was like... Um, at, at that point, I mean, she, she basically gave an ultimatum and was saying, well, if this is the sort of person you are, then you're not the sort of person that I want to... No. And, and my sister, she's two years my older, and basically, like, raised me. Yeah. And um, and so it w I I was like, oh, well, you must see something about him that I don't see. No. Yeah. And eventually it was like, well, I'm going to. You know, I, I chose to not interact with my father because of it. Sure, and undermined it. Yeah. Yeah, she played a hell of a role. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I still believe that you know my father had his own thing and was a good person in a strange way. Mm. But I learned to not talk to her about that. Or for a while, no one else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, um, what does it take to see yourself? See, look here. You're going through experiences of seeing yourself mm -hmm. on a more mm -hmm. profound level. Mm -hmm. Right? And this is the origin of it. Damn good beginning. Mm -hmm. right? The mm -hmm. need the need to see yourself. Mm -hmm. And to be yourself. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, are you gonna have other dreams? <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> wow. How do you like it? Uh, that was I had definitely not thought of it in that way. That was amazing. That's yours. Oh. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Now it's time. Now it's time for. Look here. It's time for a couple of questions. Oh, wait a minute. Agree? Wait, wait, wait. Hold uh, it. I remember Don had a dream. Oh, I, I talked to Pierre about it. You're going to do it separately? 
I enjoy it very much. So I'm thinking of yourself. Yeah. So, hey, look here. We can give up. No questions. Wait a minute. I know someone who really asks good questions. Yeah, Nancy. <laughs> Funny, like, have all these questions that I want to ask she, you, but then I <laughs> <laughs> Help, help. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I she's got one. <laughs> no, I forget his question. I thought you asked me if I remember this All right. <laughs> well, I, I really had questions for Thomas because. Yes, please. So you would like to ask him? him? How was that? Looked like good. Um, yes. Uh, so I mean, I would say if I was to, to pull it apart and say what's the difference from what I had done before to what was going on just then, um, I would say before it was mostly about symbolism and like this appeared and. This means that I, I think maybe that's still going on, but in a different context of like um, I, I would say like oh well a staircase appeared so that must have meant that I was trying to go up to something. That's how I would look at it previously. Mm -hmm. And here the setting was maybe less important. The the symbols of like. Oh, well, they were falling from the sky, so what could that mean? That's, I guess that's the sort of thing that I would do before. Mm -hmm. This was more, yeah, the direct experience of like, um, like where I, what I was feeling mm -hmm. and where I had felt that before, mm -hmm. which is more like directly relatable to myself and less like, yeah, some, some like, oh, well, I read a dragon must mean this story sort of thing, you know? Because I guess I would be, you know, like, oh, I would, like, if I was to analyze it through symbolism, yeah, I mean, I would say that it's about, like, me, like, falling and not being able to listen to people and, like, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't help but think that, like, what we were doing here was very related to the Parmenides discussion. And what way? Then with the self. Again, and it was it was as if I was um, well pulling apart the the hypothesis of like um, is it true or is it not true? Is it like um, the the self in relation to others mm -hmm. was a big one of like um, mm -hmm. oh well I'm sitting here reflecting and this isn't good for me, but realizing that that actually came from the interplay between the circumstance of, of the, you know, the, the, the scene that I found myself in as it unfolds and my reaction to that, yeah. that only through those two things expressing themselves could I come to some understanding of, of the scene and an understanding of the self? The logos. You're following mm -hmm. the logos. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Thomas. How important was it that you, you looked at states of mind in, in each of those things? I mean, you talked about feeling. Yeah, I, I, well, I feel like I couldn't have the understanding that I, that here helped me come to without looking at the states of mind. I think if I was looking at just the scenes or just the symbolism without understanding how I was reacting to them and what it, what it was doing to me, I think I would have arrived at a very different conclusion. I think um, I, I had not at all thought of the dream in those in that term of like you know feeling like others couldn't see me. I, I thought it was like I was hunting for something. Mm -hmm. Like I thought it was like oh I, this is just my quest to find what's really good for me. But when you're looking at states of mind, 
it, 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 it's just you. Exactly, yeah. You know, you're not looking out, out outside of yourself. How, yeah. how, how much is that like what you're seeing in the Parmenides? Oh, whew. I mean, states of mind. You, you were just talking. You yeah, know, yeah. Together. So I guess I guess what I was saying, why it was reminding me of the Parmenides was because of like the, you know, this whole like dialectic structure of like the self and against the self, like the other, and oh, you take this as true or not true, and all of these different, you know, it's like um. And I had not thought of the states of mind in related to the Parmenides, mm -hmm. because in the Parmenides I was purely looking at it like, oh, it's this structural thing. It's this, like, um, you know, you can, you can analyze anything in terms of these structures and come to a better understanding of it. And I guess, I, I guess that's maybe what I was saying, is that it seemed like it was like this sort of structured process that I was being led through that was letting me see things in ways that I hadn't looked at them before. And that seemed to be what, what was being discussed in, in um, you know, oh, you, well, you have to look at, you know, does likeness exist? Does not likeness exist? What if that's true? What if that's false? What does that do to the self and to the other? That structure of just like, well, let's just take this thing and guide it through these, you know, tease it through these arguments to understand it, seemed to be what was, what was happening in, in, um, in the midwife tree of going to extreme. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very well. I love the way you, oh, thank you. you relay yourself. Thank mm -hmm. you. Well, why aren't you carrying a six pack of beer right now? I thought it'd be a good idea. <laughs> That's the classic. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Peter. What are you doing? Unless you expected to see a mother around. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice to get on TV. Mm -hmm. It must have been really good for him to leave the house when he realized that at that moment to become who he is today. Sure. You know, I mean, yeah. to recognize that and say, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> That's on his sister played such an interesting role. Mm -hmm. She was two years older. <clears throat> I guess she played a major role before that. Yeah, well, I mean, my, my mother was a single mother working, and so my sister would make meals for me. She would, you know, walk me to and from school, and, yeah. and she was... She was like a mother. Yeah. You yeah. always forget to ask. Oh. Oh, yeah, really and you have to remember. And my that. parents were always like friends, and it was like this strange, Everybody? very strange yeah. dynamic. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay then. Are there donations? If anyone wants to give donations for tonight, I'm over here. And is it at Gina's tomorrow morning? Mm. And when you leave, how much this place cost every month? So dig deep. Mm. I read it actually. Three hundred fifty bucks a month. You got to contribute something. Oh. Well, we have seminar coming up. And seminar, huh?